Here we're looking at the probability of dependent events. And dependent events are things where the outcome of the first event affects the probability of what comes after. Let's look at this problem. It says a pizza restaurant offers 13 different toppings. Eight of them are vegetarian and five of them are non-vegetarian. A customer selects her first topping at random and then selects another one at random from the remaining toppings. So the first time that this customer is selecting, there are 13 toppings. The second time, there's only 12 left to choose from. Uh, so the probability changes from one pick to the next. So the question here is, what is the probability that both her selections are vegetarian? As usual, when we have two events and we want to find out the probability of both of them happening, we're going to multiply. But they won't have the same probabilities, those two events. The first one, the probability of selecting a vegetarian topping, are 8 out of 13. So that's the first one. When, when the next selection is made, there are only 12 toppings left, and only 7 of them are vegetarian. So the probability of picking a vegetarian topping randomly the second time, 7 out of 12. So our problem comes down to 8 over 13 times 7 out of 12, and then we just have to do our multiplication. So this is 56, and this is 156. And then I think we can simplify here. This looks like 14 30 ninths. And that is our probability of picking two vegetarian toppings. Let's look at another problem like this. In this problem, it says an automobile manufacturing plant produced 29 vehicles today. 11 were sedans, 9 were vans, and 9 were trucks. Plant managers are going to choose two of the vehicles for thorough inspection. The first vehicle will be chosen at random, and then the second vehicle will be chosen at random from the remaining vehicles. What's the probability that two trucks will be selected? So there are nine trucks out of a total of 29 vehicles. So the probability that the first one is a truck is easy. It's just nine out of 29. The second one, well, there are fewer trucks if you picked a truck the first time. So there are eight trucks remaining. And there are fewer vehicles because you picked out one of the vehicles. So there are only 28 vehicles remaining. So this comes down to 9 out of 29 times 8 out of 28. And then we multiply those together. And that is 72 and 812. And what, how can we simplify that? Looks like that comes down to 18 out of 203. So that's a little bit of work with dependent events.